What's going on guys and welcome back to what is part number two of this absolutely insane Pokey Collects mystery box opening. If you haven't caught part number one yet, let me give you a little temptation as to what happened yesterday. Oh, okay. This is going to be a good episode. And then, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, the chair nearly fell down. Oh no, that's a full art. No, it's blue. It's flipping blue's tactic full art. One of my favorite evers. Okay, but if you still don't want to go back and click the link in the description, watch yesterday's video, that's completely fine because at the end of today's opening, we're going to do a recap where I literally show off everything that we pulled today. Um, because I've got a feeling we got some bangers coming up. I've sort of just grabbed it as the first part, everything from this end, and then today we're going to open up everything in the other end. And already straight off the bat, look what we got to open. A first edition only pack. <sighs> i got to breathe, okay. So, if you don't know who Pokey Collects is, um, as I said yesterday, it's a guy that just hated the regular style of a Pokemon boost pack where you weren't ever guaranteed something. So, he tried to improve the odds. He made his own custom Pokey Collects boosters where you roughly know what you're going to get, but still have that element of surprise. So, I'll link his website down below. He's always, uh, like, running some sort of good giveaway or something. And you could get one of these first edition only boosters. Let's see what we can't get in here. And check out the pulls we're about to get. Always makes your binder so much better after these videos. So, first edition Omnimite, then a Dratini as well, and then a first edition Charmander. I never know, like, sometimes you can tell, like, he foreshadows really well. He tries to, like, tempt you as to what you're going to get. But you don't want to go too crazy. So the very first card is none other than a Dark Hypno, first edition Team Rocket. And then... A first edition Golduck from Fossil. Nice, beautiful, minty, crispy cards. I don't think I'm really collecting any, like, first edition sets at the moment. I do know a bunch of people, though, that always DM me, like, Endo, have you got any first edition cards? I'm looking to get this one, this one. So they're good to have in my collection. But I'm not really, like, going after any first edition completed sets because that gets expensive. Now, let's do this bad boy right here, which was a Japanese GX. God pack, where every single, I think, every single uh, card in here should be a GX card. We got a Keldeo GX. This is what makes the recap so bananas. And then a Dedenne. GX as well. And is the final two in this top loader going to be a GX, or are they going to be top lo I mean, uh, full art cards? Because the top loaders are a bit 50-50. Oh, nice! It's Reshiram and Charizard. Regular GX right there. And on the other end, it is a full art. No way. Ultra Necrozma GX full art card right there. Or Dawnwings Necrozma, as I think a lot of people call him nowadays. This is actually insane. Look at the dark purple behind him. His evil pink sort of eyeballs he's got going on. Okay, this is a fantastic start. I'm pretty sure that, because this is a secret as well, this is actually worth a pretty penny. Oh, that's awesome. So in a Japanese GX God Pack, you could get a full art as well. I love that we got the Charizard and Rash Ram on top of that. Alright, I'm going to put you two at the back. And do not worry, we're going to sleeve these bad boys up. We're going to do a recap at the end. We've got a premium vintage pack. Usually that means there's a couple of hollow bangers inside of the uh, top loader of these bad boys. So let's get you guys out. Then let's get the cards out the sleeve right here. And oh mama, we start off with the Charmander. Again, I don't know about the foreshadowing, but it could be something. And then we've got a Jigglypuff from uh, Jungle. Then a Coughing from Team Rocket. Koga Zubat, which is a classic. Blaine's Ponita. Then a Potion, just casual. Blaine's Growlithe as well. A lot of Gym Challenge, Gym Heroes. Then a Slowbro out of Fossil. Slowbro is a really popular Pokemon, especially in the Vintage Era. And then out the top loader. None other than a first edition. It looks like it's a bold stamped uh, first edition VR right there from Team Rocket. And on the other side is none other than a flipping first edition Haunter from Fossil. Nice. Oh, it's so crazy when you get a holo and a first edition as well. Super rare. And these are the cards you're like, wow, I should consider getting PSA graded. I swear, Pokey Collect stuff is always my favorite stuff to get graded because it always comes up decent condition too. Which is the best part. Japanese Ultimate Collection. What do you mean, Japanese Ultimate Collection? What's so good about this stuff? That is, oh my, oh my goodness. Three sleeves and a top loader full of stuff. I mean, we just had a first edition Hollow Haunter from Fossil. How do we top it? 
with a bunch of Japanese hollows, I guess. Marsh Shadow right there. Oh gosh, Malamar, I'm sorry. Then a, look at that, Shattered Glass Hollow or a reverse. That's pretty sick. I mean, is this all gonna be just reverse and hollow cards? I think it is. And then some of them are Sword and Shield Bangers too. And then I suppose we have to have a Prism Tapacoco because, uh, I suppose, because it's Tapacoco. Then a Character Art. So that's the uh, Japanese equivalent of Cosmic. And then it looks like it's even more hollows. What do you guys think of this? Landorus, not too bad. Stakatica. So reverses as well. Then a random like Shattered Glass. With the, it's like sort of that promo style. A lot of English promos look like that. Then a couple Galarian forms, and then we got good old Celebi with the Prism, and a shiny Inkay! Alright, out of the Hidden Fates, which isn't too bad, the Japanese Hidden Fates. And then we're gonna sleeve with only three cards in it, because it's got none other than Megalodius EX right there. Followed out by this Solgaleo GX. And a Tag Team Raichu and Alolan Raichu GX card. And then what's he gonna put in the old top loader here? Let's open you up. Oh no, dude, do you see something? I do as well. Let's go this way. It is a V card of Wabafet. Looking good. And look on the other side. None other than a flipping rainbow rare V Max Secret Rare Hyper Rare Snorlax card right there. That is insane. Look at the glitter, guys. Man, that, thank you so much. I don't have many Japanese Hyper Rares, so I will definitely take this bad boy. Man, Sword and Shield bangers, guys! It's so good he's up to date! Fantastic! Alright, so we've got the Japanese VMAX Hyper Rare right there. One of the better pulls of the entire box. And Wabafet V. Can't overlook that bad boy. Now, you know what's funny is the next boost pack says Ultra Rare Only. Like, as if that wasn't the uh, Ultra Rare only pack, where we got a Hyper Rare Snorlax. So we'll swing this one around with a Ho-Ho EX card. And then a Alolan Ninetales GX. Followed up by a Sable IV. I'm terrified. What could you put in the Ultra Rare only pack as the top loader card? Of course, it has to be one of my favorite fuller cards. Wow, that's stunning. Mega Gengar EX, all of the Japanese text, and... That gorgeous looking Raichu and Alolan Raichu Full Art GX card. Beautiful tag team. Tandem Shock is the name of the attack. That's funny. Oh, it's, oh, it's so, so, so cool, guys. This is just like... I swear these videos are a showcase of, like, if you look back, every set had a banger or two. Man, that is awesome. Okay. There are so many good cards today, but we're flying through this. Premium Mystery Pack. Let's keep going. Because I've got these thick ones, like, there's really chunky packs towards the end. Premium Mystery Pack. Oh no, what's going to be in a Premium Mystery Pack? Why is it called that? We've got a Reverse Hypno. Alright, then a Vile Plume. Then an Empoleon FB, level 50. Good old Scyther. These are from, like, those middle ground sets, aren't they? Tyranitar Hollow, looking good. Solgaleo, Clefable from the old Heart Gold Soul Silver. Raikou. And then... This is a premium mystery. You've got no idea what you're going to get. So of course, it has to be a Dark Marchette in first edition and a reverse Charizard. What a banger. That is actually a decent one. I love this card. Bruh. Love it even more. It's in first edition, but I love the fact that it's a dark card and it's Marchamp. The fact you add a holo and first edition logo on it, fantastic. Dude, this is awesome! Alright, put you into the side there. I love the vintage condition. Ultimate Vintage Collection. I feel like someone's just sort of sent him the entire collection, then he sent it to me. What could you put in here? What do we really want? I don't know, I didn't see too many... I think an E-Series would be interesting. I don't see too many of those cards in these boosters. So let's have a look. Oh, dude, a couple of promos as well would go down alright. We got an Eevee from Team Rocket. Meowth from good old Jungle. Cubone, then Sabrina's Ghastly, got a Lieutenant Surge's Magnemite, Dark Kadabra, Dark Golbat as well, sorry, Gold Dark, not Golbat, Executor, Parasect from Jungle, there we go, there's Golbat right there, Koga's Ninja Trick, maybe uh, Koga's Ninja Trick is him moving from Twitch to Mixer, alright, so we've got a Slowpoke from Fossil, then a Drowsy, Blaine's Mankey as well, Krabby, 
Searching for his lost sunglasses. Mankey. That is stunning. Misty's polywag. Look at the way it's upside down. Ken, you know why? It's a Ken Sugimori artwork, guys. That's why it's so good. Giovanni's magic up. Energy removal. Sabrina's gaze. Then we've got that classic, like, third to last sleeve with only three cards in there because they're first edition. Goldine, Slowpoke, and Giovanni's Nidorino. Gotta watch out for that one. And then what's put in here? I'm guessing it'd have to be, like, some first edition cards, wouldn't it? It is Charmander. So what's this one? Do I dare turn it around? I think it, Is it a Charizard? Don't do it to me. Because that wasn't first edition. That was just regular. Oh my goodness! There we go, fellas! None other than a Blaine's Charizard! Oh, I have not seen a Blaine's Charizard in the hottest minute. Look at this. Flame Jet, Roaring Flames. That is stunning. I knew it was building up to a Charizard. I was like, maybe it's a base hit? And I'm like, nah, it's too expensive. Like, what else could it... That's perfect. Blaine's Charizard. I do not see it that often, and to be honest, I don't think I've actually got one in my collection at the moment, so this is perfect. I will legit, on my next round of PSA submissions, get this graded. I mean, look how good that... Like, nothing on the back. No scratches, no whiting. Um, it looks centered-ish. What do you guys think in the comments? Is that a 10, do you think? Oh, epic. All right. Put that with my first edition Dark March app. Maybe I should get, oh, we should do a, what was this, premium mystery pack. We should do a vintage um, PSA send off, especially after this video right here. So we got Reverse Absol, Lantern, Mr. Mime, Jumpluff with the Pokemon League right there, Charizard, I've got that gold collector stamp Charizard, which is one of 400 apparently. Huckle Soul Silver Raichu in the chibi art form, stunning. Claydol from Team Magma, gorgeous looking, I think it's from Platinum. Uh, I could be wrong. Rotom, level 46. Oh, it's from Pop Series 9. So is it around that Platinum era? Because that's what it kind of looks like. I love the holo pattern on that Rotom though. And then, no way! Torkoal Full Art V card! You're kidding. I reckon I've got... I reckon it's three of these bad boys. But you know what? Every V card nowadays, because it's the base set, I don't care about doubling up. It's the first of its kind. And look at that! No way! We got reds. Pikachu, I love it. Oh, that'll never get old. Best character art in the whole set, to be honest, guys. I did a whole search for this card. I couldn't find it. We had to open so many boxes. Talk of big full art. Stunning. 188 out of 202. Okay, put you guys at the side. I could stare at these cards all day, I'm sorry. So we got about four packs left. Ultra rare only pack, ultra rare only pack. Um, five cut. Oh, look at this. I want to do this one. Promo and Miss Cut Pack. Got a Japanese God Pack coming up too. So this is a five card Promo and Miss Cut Pack. Surely it doesn't have this many um, for sale on his website. Because this is... I would just buy all these. Okay, so it looks like this is a promo of some kind. Glass Hollow. Beautiful. Got an Eevee on the front. Very, very hand drawn. Oh my goodness. Black Star Promo X and Y... 202 Pokemon League That original Ken Sugimori Pikachu, but the hollow That is beautiful Oh, it's like around the evolutions era, isn't it? Yeah, 2016. I Love this card Okay, I yeah, this is a classic. This is that Neo um, Entei Black Star right there Heck yeah, and then what's in here? I'm so curious. He finds the weirdest stuff, I swear. Stuff I haven't seen in ages. What's this? Okay, Charizard. Um, promo. Okay, this is a promo. I was searching for the missed cut for a second, but I'm like, no, nah, this is the promo. So Charizard EX promo. And then Brave Fire with 120. Wow. Oh my goodness. He had to chuck in a promo. Arceus right there. That's out the good old Arceus box. Very, look at this. Type switch. Choose any energy type. Until the end of your turn, your Pokemon is that type. That's just such an OP attack. Okay, Charizard and Arceus. This is a very sought after Charizard, I think. Put that one to the side. Back to our ultra rare only pack. Like the only thing in here, it's an ultra rare. Let's open up the sleeves. Not many in here at all, guys. Got a Aaron right there. Good old Aaron. Pikachu. And then Blaine's last dead fuller card. Wow, look at that. 
That is all hand shaded and full art. Oh, the texture around here. There's like literally a flame that you can feel. Wow, that is gorgeous. Flames last stand. You see so many of these when you open up those boosters. To see it in a full art form is wild. Okay. And then I'm gonna pop this bad boy open. What's in the top loader? It's gonna be a Keldeo V card. And then a shiny full art Greninja out of Hidden Fates. That is beautiful. Get out of town. Greninja GX shiny from Hidden Fates. Let's keep it going though. That was wild. Blaine's Last Stand Full Art's actually a really underrated card now. Second to last one. This time it's a Japanese GX God Pack. What could possibly be in there? I don't know. Open this one up and then we'll put this to the side. We got Blacephalon GX. Then Glaceon GX as well. And Zoroa GX to end it off. Then you get to the... Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. What is it? What is it? What is it? Whimsicott! Rainbow Rare! Hyper Rare! I've not seen this in a hot minute! What the heck? Dude, this looks fantastic! Whimsicott GX Rainbow Rare Secret Rare Hyper Rare card! Oh, that is fantastic! And then that tag team, Pikachu and uh, Zekrom right there. This Garden of Full Art is such a banger, like it's a wild one. That's insane though, this doesn't even seem, it seems like more of a fake card, doesn't it? If it didn't have texture on there, because it's so washed out, it's not really like dense sort of rainbow rare. Beautiful, alright, Whimsicott, Full Art, Rainbow Rare, Hyper Rare GX, put you to the side. Wow, what the flipper we opened today. And now we got an Ultra Rare only pack to end it off. The last opening of our Pokey Collects banger. What do you guys think of this? Definitely become in the comment section below. But we got a Mewtwo EX. Bit of a miscut Blastoise. Look at the top of that bad boy. And a more Pico V. Alright, you go at the side. And then the final top loader of this whole entire opening is going to lead us with... Oh, that is stunning! Mega Alakazam EX full of card. And none other than a Velto GX. Wow! Oh, I have never pulled in a Beltal GX full of card. Doom Count GX, what the heck. And Mega Alakazam EX is always such a good card. Like, all of this going on here, the craziest card I think I've seen the hot minute. Anyway, with this really ridiculous ending, let's do a recap. This is gnarly. I reckon we start at the top. No, we'll start at the bottom, work our way up. That sounds good. Okay, so we've got a lot of cards to go over, so I'm probably going to go a bit fast. If you want to pause the video, have a look at any of these, that's completely fine. Maybe pick out your favorite from each section. So here we've got the hollow ones. Um, I put a couple of reverses in, you know, we've got like Charizard. I thought that looked really, really nice. I had to put that one in. Um, we got a really, really cool selection of a few promo cards that have like that Shattered Glass background. This one's really special. It's the hollow Charizard. But I've also got in my collection a gold stamp collector one as well. So the fact I got an original is pretty sick. We got our first place, Holo Renji Gigas from the Pokemon League. And then we also got the um, Pikachu with the Poke League stamp right there as well, which looks fantastic. As well as that um, promo Toys R Us shiny Magikarp. Some of those are probably my favorites out of this lot, but you guys might have a completely different take. Definitely let me know. Then we work our way up here. Got a couple of shinies out of Hidden Fates, Japanese and English. Then we just got two Lonely Prison cards, Celebi and Tapa Coco. I don't know, there's a couple of Tapa Cocos in here. We also got a V Tapa Coco, but you know what? Take the prisons where we can get them. Then check this out. I love, I tell you what, just as much as probably the fuller Ultra Rares, I love vintage holo cards. We got a promo, Cool Porygon. How sick is that? Like, look at the backgrounds. We got Jumpler for Alakazam, Ninetales, Dark Machamp in first flipping edition. You know you're gonna get that graded. As well as Blaine's Charizard, that's already a hot spicy banger, and Haunter first edition. Okay, so if you had to pick one of your favorites from there, which one would it be? Let's get into these bangers right here though. This is a gnarly section. All right, so all of these are like character cards, um, the GX card, EX cards, or V cards, okay? Then it goes up to full arts up here. But I thought this was really sick. Like as a group of cards, it looks fantastic. Amazing selection. I still can't believe we unboxed all of this out of Poke Collections, like one mystery box. And then we got this. This right here, 
is the mother duck of all like recap full luck cards. Look at all this. Let's go zoom in and have a close look at what we got. Hidden Fates full arts. We got rainbow rares. All of the megas. We got V Max cards, tag team bangers, Sword Gold V right there, Ultra Necrozmas, um, Trainers, then Zygods. These Rainbow Rares are just stunning. One of my favorites has to be this section right here Hidden Fates. Then we got Blue's Tactic and that absolutely stunning Magic Up and Whale Lord card. So guys, I know this is like really random and I know it's something we haven't done before, but I was thinking since I always talk about how these Poke Collect boosters really help out my collection and make my binders look so sick, what if I ended each like sort of unboxing with an update on how it's impacted my binders? Because I know you guys really enjoy seeing the uh, updates of my collection and I love showing off like uh, the different binders and the different collections. So I thought we'd end today's episode with a full art update and I would show you guys every single full art I have in my collection. Um, and show off all the binders relating to it. Then if you guys absolutely love this, if this video gets maybe like 3,000 thumbs up, I'll show off my like vintage card collection, maybe my like weird miss card collection, my promo collection. Um, but yeah, these boosters always help me out. So I think it'd be cool to show off how much they've impacted the binders. So I think you guys have seen this one before. This is my Pikachu Leatherbound binder and it is filled to the brim with some of my favorite cards. So we start off full entire page of gold cards. You guys know they're my favorite things to go after and hunt down. Oh, mama. Then we're gonna a bunch of rainbow rares, as you guys can see here. Got a sneaky little silver card there, another gold card as well. But really beautiful, like, uh, rainbow rares here. Gyarados. Like, cards you forget about unless you go back and revisit, like, on the binders. Um, then we got, like, Dragonite rainbow rares. Really nice tag teams. Couple of legendary ones as well. Umbreon, sneaky up there. Pikachu and Zekrom. Then you've got the Japanese uh, Hidden Fates variant right here, which was so hyped when it came out. I love each and every single one of my Japanese uh, Hidden Fates cards here. We've got the sneaky Shiny Mewtwo up the top, Shiny Reshiram, all of these cards. Shiny Scissor looks awesome. A couple of Rainbow Rares, you know, sneak them in as well. Then we've got our Golden Secret Rare Trainer cards. These are so special when they're put together. I think a lot of people get wrapped up in the fact that they pull a gold card and it's not a Pokemon, so they're disappointed. But when you collect a lot of these, they look amazing and they're really playable as well. So, absolutely beautiful sort of uh, combined collection right there. This hasn't been touched for a hot minute. So it's got a lot of my grails in here that I'm still yet to think like, maybe I should PSA grade this, but I think for now it looks good in a binder. This, I don't know where to start. All of these cards are fantastic. We have a trickle over of like some gold seeker rares. Cosplay Pikachus, like Team Skull, Ken Sugimori Full Art, the Scream promos, I mean, dude. Hand-drawn Illustrator uh, Charizard, Red's Challenge, Battle Festa cards. Unbelievable. This is such a grey of a binder. Oh, I forgot this even exists, guys. <laughs> I'm viewing it with you guys at the start, too. So, Secret Rares out of, like, really old-school sets, but, like, these are the gold cards of the time. So, Gyarados, Alakazams, Mewtwo's, then the Pokemon Generations, Articuno, Zapdos, Mew and Mewtwo out of that premium collection box. Then you gotta have, oh my goodness, it's Thunderous, full art EX cards. Then a bunch of Megas as well. Celebi looks beautiful, I love the color scheme. Then as I always say, Megas together look absolutely phenomenal. Like, I don't care what your thoughts on Megas are, even if you hate them, you gotta admit, the artwork on these has made the TCG like one of a kind. It looks so sick, just all together. Primal cards are very special to me as well. That is just such a gorgeous card. Primal Groudon, Primal Kyogre, a couple more Mega Full Arts. Um, keep in mind, these are all Full Arts. Some of these may not look like actual Full Art cards, you're like, oh, that looks like a regular GX. No, no. These are all entire full art cards, which just makes the binder even more rare. I think this is very special now, the fact I've got like a whole sheet of uncut uh, Regigigas full art cards. A um, couple of cool color schemes there. So we've got to, you know, keep doing the Thunderous, keep doing the Secret Rare gold cards right there. Regirock, Gyarados as well. Charizard EX at the top. We've got Hooper. You guys have to let me know, do you have a favorite out of all of my collection right here? But I wouldn't type your comment just yet, me too, sneaky, because I've got two more binders I want to show off, and I'm starting a new one as well. 
which is insane to me. If you ever said like, Ando, when you grow up, you're gonna have three entire binders dedicated to full art cards, I would have been like, you're dreaming. But now we're working towards four entire binders. I love this too right here, because I met the actor as well. When I went to Japan, I met him, he's such a nice guy. English isn't even his first language, and he's like, oh, it's amazing. Um, really nice trainers. Trainers are like really underrated. I think they're just as cool as um, Pokemon sometimes. Koga's Trap, Blastoise Tag Team's a nice one. Reshiram, this is like the uh, single version of that tag team, Reshiram and Charizard. More like Skylar, like more ultra rare trainer cards here. And then to end it off, you gotta have, you gotta have none other than Cynthia Fuller, which just looks absolutely gorgeous. One of the most expensive Hidden Fates cards, I think. And uh, yeah, that wraps up binder number one. All right, so binder number two right here is my Snorlax binder. Um, I'm gonna keep it moving at a bit of a quick pace just in case anyone does get a bit bored, but feel free to pause the video. Send me a question on Instagram if you've got any questions. I always love answering everybody. Um, and yes, yeah, shoot me a tweet if you want to tweet me. Look at this. My, one of my last non-graded, non-ripped, rainbow rare, Reshiro and Charizard cards. Sneaky some like gold cards in there, but as you'll find, I've actually got different pages of gold cards now because they're releasing so many, it's hard to always keep putting them in the front, you know, circling out cards. Absolutely amazing. Like, if I could recommend anything, put your rainbow rares together. Um, and then we just start. These are like... A lot of these, I gotta say, are either Paul, but Pokey Collects, you may remember so many of these from different episodes. This is absolutely incredible. The fact that I managed to complete another Golden Cigarette Trainer Full Art section, really awesome. Then, uh, like Aerodactyl. Look at that plain Jane brown background, but it works so well. Promo Armored Mewtwo, another Pokemon Generations Articuno, Secret Rare Shiny Gyarados, Primal Groudon as well. Um, then we've got another promo, so Galio, incredible full art card. Another one of those Secret Rare bangers, got Mewtwo as well. Then we got, this is like the Cosmic in Japanese, but then I started to mix it with English as well, the character cards. You can sort of tell the difference, right? So this one is a Pokemon Center exclusive, really cool. Um, more of the same. Really nice looking tag team Arceus Carl with Diaga and Palkia. Ho-Ho, Shiny Gyarados. Love that. That's a beautiful one. Ho-Ho as well. That's cool as well, you know? Psyduck and Slowpoke. Underrated tag team card. Mega Charizard EX. Unbelievable. Absolute banger. Like $50 card, I think. Then you got the Tin Promos. Pikachu and Zekrom again. Oh, look at that. That is gorgeous. Full art Japanese Eevee. Doubled up on the tag team Arceus as well. Then we go into the Rainbow Rares. Then, oh, this, I love this card because we set out to do a series for it. And on the third episode, I went and got Shiny Frost Moth. It probably should be with my Sword and Shield stuff, but you know what? It's just like, it needs to be surrounded by Ultra Rares. Absolutely gorgeous. Um, then we got, you know, just more random, I guess, promos. I guess full art cards as well. There's no real theme to uh, this part. And two, you get to hear Armored Mewtwo's Reshiram and Charizard GX Full Arts, and that's where the Pokey collects. Like, I think he sent me a majority of those. Definitely those two. Then Clone Charizard Holo Cards. I know these aren't Full Arts, but holy smokes, it is sick. Like, putting them back to each other, especially Clone Charizard, he's epic. These are my Full Arts Secret Rare Energy Cards, you might remember. They're given out like one per GX All-Star Tag Team box. And we opened a lot of boxes, but then again, Pokeflex has sent us a lot of energies. So then we've just, oh, the colors, guys, like, unreal. Like, dude, orange and all that, I love it. And then you just got more, I guess, Hidden Fates Double Ups that I had. Um, a lot of Hidden Fates Double Ups, actually. Zygarde's a beautiful one. Hidden Fates is a gorgeous set. You know, you got Poke Collects ones. Then a couple of random like sword and shield cards. I think this is um, when I was trying to put VMAX together. And that's why I put the gold card in this binder as well. More gold cards, more like promos. Then you got more hidden fates cards right there. Then we start the trainer section. So it's not a lot of patterns to this binder, but there is a bit of a method to sorting it out. And more trainers right there. So I guess a quick update on like my base set, sword and shield collection right here. I've completed everything, so 
Um, you guys are always seeing my checklist and when we open up Sword and Shield, I'm always hunting for like six cards, I think it is now. Because I've literally, I've completed the entire slot. Like there's not one individual uh, card missing until you get to the ultra rares. So we're all good. So we've got two blank slots there. One, two, three. So five blank slots. And I think there's a missing card here as well. Like I miscounted, but I think it's around six cards I'm missing now, which is sick. So I got all the gold cards, we got everything there. So then I started to put the double ups with the fuller cards back here. And I don't know what happened, but it just got full really fast. So all of those. Then we got the brand new Toxtricity set that just came out with the ultra rare $150 Giovanni. Put those together as well. Um, and I think there's more too. You know, colors just worked well together. So I put them there, more blank slots. Then a couple of V maxes when I was doing the V double ups as well. Do you guys remember that? Then I put a couple of doubles of the uh, promo cards at the back here. Gorgeous card right there. And then, yeah, just more fuller cards, more Lapras, Delphamize, Zamazenta, Marnie, and the energy cards as well. And the reason I want to keep updating you guys is because, like, that's not it. We still have so many fuller cards I need to sleeve up. I mean, I've sleeved them up. I need to put into a binder after it's getting sleeved up. So, if you guys would love another binder update, I want to do a collection update if you guys are down for it. So hit 3,000 likes, I'll show off my like vintage card collection and uh, we'll go over everything else and the GXs and EXs and all that and see what we're dealing with. Hopefully you enjoyed that. I had so much fun showing it off and I hope you guys do too. It's all about the heart of the cards, the spirit of Pokemon card collecting. And yeah, hopefully your collection looks just as good. Definitely shoot me a tweet or an Instagram of what yours looks like. But most of all, gonna keep on gaming. Alright guys, next time, I'll see you then.